Ming-Chi Kuo just published more details on what to expect for the iPhone SE 2. We have too many Google Pixel 4 leaks to count ahead of the event, and it looks like Samsung wants to give the light treatment to the Galaxy S10 as well. I'm Jaime Rivera, and fun fact, I was confused. I thought the Pixel event was Wednesday, so obviously tomorrow's gonna be crazy. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Obviously, tomorrow is all about the Made by Google event. We will be covering everything live, and there's a ton of stuff planned that's going to be really awesome. Those of you in the market for existing Pixels, you're going to find some discounts. Right now, you can currently find devices like the Google Pixel 3a XL on Best Buy for $379, which is pretty much $100 off, and we're talking about the Unlock 64GB variant. And I can't stress enough how good these Pixel 3a devices are, and given the fact that the design is not really changing significantly obviously you get other focal lengths and, uh, and others you know that the pixel 4 is going to be more expensive so you could just jump on a deal now let's talk about uh, nubia they've been really shocking the world with some of their product launches the whole concept of having a full back display that's actually larger than what you get on the galaxy fold I, I wish that Samsung would do that as well, but yeah, we've now got a new one, the Z20. This is pretty much a notchless 6.42 inch display with a secondary display at the back. It packs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and 27 watt fast charging. It has triple cameras at the back and retails for 549 bucks, which is one of those reasons why I'm like, yeah, Samsung, can you do that in that front display of the fold? Think about it is yes, it's available globally. Now, speaking of interesting things that have been happening in China, obviously Oppo has been moving the needle a lot when it comes to what we've been getting from devices lately. And uh, well, it seems that the company wants to continue doing it if you look at the patents. Let's go digital. Just uncovered some weird ones from the company that show that the it looks like they want to push that waterfall display concept seriously and want to wrap it up from the top and bottom as well, not just from the sides like we currently see. The patent was filed back in November, what was just published right now. This would uh, take a lot of work with all the components they would have to move, etc. But if there's one company that could pull it off is Oppo. They've been killing it lately. We'll see. Now, one of the most controversial topics we talked about last week was the whole idea of a light Galaxy Note. Uh, because we don't get it. I mean, you've got the Galaxy Note 10, which is already a lighter Note 10 Plus. The thing about it is apparently Samsung wants to do some more. It looks like, uh, well, we're also getting that treatment for the S10. The specs would match also the Galaxy A91 with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus display, eight gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage, and the 48, a 12, and an eight megapixel camera system with a 32 megapixel selfie shooter, a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, and 45 watt fast charging. So wait a second, you're getting better cameras, on this light version, but it's got lesser specs on the S10e in certain scenarios. This is just confusing. Stay tuned. We'll obviously keep you posted as soon as we learn more. And yes, again, if you weren't expecting any daily dose of rumors today, we're sorry to disappoint. Pixel 4 is happening tomorrow, so they just get more intense. The first one is of a retail box that was shared on Reddit, which is similar to the 3 Ace packaging. Inside it'll bring an 18 watt USB-C charger with no headphones in the box, which may confirm Confirm the possibility of the new Pixel Buds. The second leak we have is of an Oso oh Orange variant, casually at a variety event, being used for selfies from uh, someone which uh, was on the Pixel 3a ads. The Pixel 4 XL is reportedly going to start at $1,000. I'd like to see how that goes. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with iPhone SE 2. That was another one of the controversial topics last week. Did really well, and apparently Ming-Chi Kuo is chiming in with more details over what to expect. He still claims that it'll use the iPhone 8's chassis, but on the side, we should expect an 813 chip, 64 gigs or 128 of storage, three gigs of RAM, and 399 as the price tag. According to Quo, Apple told suppliers to produce two to four million iPhone SE 2 devices per month for all of 2020, and we should expect it in Q1 of next year. So let us know in the comments down below. I mean, I didn't really have much faith in this whole iPhone SE 2, mainly because of its design, but for $399, with all the specs of the iPhone 11, or at least most of them, I think that's insane. Let us know in the comments down below, what do you think? Do you think it's a smart idea or not? I think it is, uh, but then it'll only not justify even more why, will you, why you would ever pay for an iPhone 11 Pro. 
Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see what I do with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.